Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're actually going to be going over my top 10 tips on how to become a new streamer, a new YouTuber, and how to start monetizing your content. These are the 10 tips and tricks that I follow to get monetized in under a month. Before we get into this video, uh, I just want a quick reminder. I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon EST. If you guys want to come check out a live stream, twitch.tv slash original Shiro. Links in the description. Okay, so tip number one, in order to grow a community, it is what it is. Unfortunately, you have to be a guide Andy or a tips and tricks. And for anybody that doesn't understand Twitch lingo, you just got to make guides. You have to make tips. You got to make how to's. Nobody wants to watch you if you're just doing montages or number 43 playthrough, et cetera, et cetera. It goes down the list. It does suck because I know that you want to play all the video games that you want to play. Trust me, I've been there before. But unfortunately, in today's days and age, there is, if you go to search YouTube, there is millions and millions of people trying to do montages and playthroughs, etc. So you need to give a reason for someone to want to click on your YouTube channel and to be like, this guy is providing me content that is valuable. By the way, these are not in like order of like 10 is the worst tip that you, they're just written down. This is what I've just come up with. Moving on to tip number two. If you want to become a live streamer, on Twitch or YouTube, your choice, right? Don't use it as your sole income because some of the streams can come off a little bit weird if you're definitely pushing subs or pushing donations. So it's really nice to have like YouTube as, or, you know, another way if you have a part-time job or something to fund your Twitch. So you don't have to worry about, you know, cause you're trying to make Twitch like a wholesome kind of community, a kind of vibe, you know what I mean? Where people want to feel, you know, at home, safe, cool collected you know what i mean and if you're trying to monetize too much it can kind of throw off some viewers i typically consider twitch and like twitter and like maybe instagram as engagement platforms where youtube is about purely just content uh, you can, it's really hard to engage apart from like comments but i mean like is that really engaging let's be honest i usually use twitch as the engagement of hey community if you want to come see me come hang out come you know talk to me, ask me questions, that's usually where I go. It, it's solely just there for someone to just have more of a one-on-one -on -one connection with me. And I love that, it's great. Obviously all the extra little stuff that comes with the Twitch and if someone wants to take the time to support you via there, that's great. But just don't make that your sole focus, if that makes sense, hopefully that does. All right, tip number three, when choosing to stream, please, 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 I beg of all of you to Take the time, spend hours, I don't care how long it takes, to actually make your stream look good. You don't need like a $7 million PC. All I'm saying is, <laughs> is that there's free overlay websites, there's free cam overlay websites, there's free alerts all over the place. You don't have to spend a dime. Just do some research, make sure everything is fit to a theme. Like if your favorite color is purple, make everything purple. Or if you like dolphins, make everything dolphin. There's so many times where I go into someone's stream and it's like the ugliest thing I've ever seen. They're still using like the default sub badges. Like there's so many places. You could put an emote as a sub badge or something. Like just, just please, okay? <laughs> I beg you, I beg you, please. Uh, tip number four, fix your mics. So even today, when I was about to start recording this, there was a ringing noise in my microphone and I figured out that it was the light was too close to the microphone and I had to turn on the uh, noise suppression so that it didn't actually pick it up. You still might pick it up, but I was very frustrated and worked on it for about an hour and a half so that it would be the best quality that you guys are watching now. There's so many streams that I go into and it sounds like you're on a walkie talkie. Over, over, hey guys, can you? Video quality is less important than mic quality. I'm telling you that right now. Nobody cares if your stream is 640p. Okay, maybe some people do. There's more lurkers on Twitch and more, you know, they, they care about the audio quality and make sure it sounds crisp. Okay, so please, please, please take the amount of time, figure out your settings. And if you guys want to see a video like that, I can help you out for sure. Tip number five, this kind of goes hand in hand with tip number one. If you're going to be a content creator, you're going to need multiple platforms. You're going to need to diversify your portfolio. Make sure you're having income coming in from multiple platforms. Unfortunately, it is what it is, but Twitch is not really that good at discoverability. I'm not saying it can't be done, but most of you, from what I've seen, like to just stream whatever game. If you wanna play like, let's say, Call of Duty, you're gonna be down, all the way down here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, still, I'm still scrolling. You're not gonna be found. So you need to have a separate page, a separate platform where you grow and it's a little bit easier to be discovered. 
So TikTok is one of those uh, I've heard. I haven't had too much experience with TikTok, but I know that some people are using it to be discovered because the algorithm is just insane. YouTube, another very common one. That's the one I use. I'm very familiar with that. Uh, as soon as you learn the SEO and begin to understand what people are searching for in that specific category, you know, your clickbaity titles, don't do clickbait unless it's actually true. You're definitely gonna need to be able to do multiple platforms. You will not just make it as a content creator solely on Twitch, at least to start with, because you need to build up community as a whole. And it's just, it's easier to do that if you add more platforms. I'm not saying get a Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Discord, uh, YouTube, everything. Don't do everything. I would say pick, you know, two, maybe three, and then grow. Uh, tip number six, six, you don't need expensive equipment. Uh, it's actually really easy to do, even with the bare minimum. It does add up for sure. So I understand where all you guys are coming from, but I'm telling you right now, you can make it work. Uh, so right now I'm actually saving up for a real camera. And this is on a web camera, which I spent two hours today trying to make it look as crisp as possible because I'm actually showing my face in this video. So you just gotta fiddle with things. You have to, you know, work with what you got. I actually use this mic for singing. Uh, so I just use that mic for streaming as well. This kind of goes along with it. If you have lesser equipment, like less expensive equipment, and I'm talking specifically like kind of computer, make sure you're not running like 18 GIFs on your, GIFs, GIFs, what do you guys call it? On your overlay or something while you're live streaming or have like animated, stuff happening it's just gonna fry your computer if you have worse equipment make sure you're accommodating to that by using static stuff and you're not overloading your computer tip number seven five six seven <laughs> rewatch your vods after you're done uh, live streaming rewatch what you just did and if you are bored i can pretty much guarantee you your viewers were too so make sure you're watching at key moments. I think on YouTube, I don't know if they have this on Twitch, but on YouTube, you can actually see the retention of your live streams. Uh, so you know when people dip and when they stop watching, you're actually able to click on that moment and see where in that live stream you were, how you were acting, when the audience decided to dip. It'll also help you with confidence as well. If you're rewatching, you're like, oh, I wasn't speaking up loud enough there. I was overhyped over here, you know what I mean? It helps you just overall be a better content creator and I highly recommend it. Even if you're a big streamer, I think you should rewatch your stuff. You can also make sure things work properly, especially if you are a smaller streamer because you don't necessarily have viewers to start. Tip number eight, create a schedule, people, for whatever you're doing. A YouTube schedule, Twitch schedule, whatever it is. Uh, I would say live stream is definitely way more important to have a schedule. YouTube, you can be a little bit more lenient. One tip that I will say about YouTube is you have about five days before your impressions start to dip like heavily, where YouTube basically takes you out of the algorithm. So I would say you probably want to upload at least once every five days. Obviously that depends on your schedule. If you can only upload every once seven days, then that's entirely up to you. That's better than not doing anything. In terms of Twitch, you are gonna to need to set a schedule. Just, it is what it is. People will not know when to come find you. You can't be live 1 p.m. one day, 7 p.m. the next day, 8 p.m., you know what I mean? You just can't do that. So please set a schedule. It will help, it'll help your growth. Tip number nine, and luckily, uh, before I get into this tip, it can be fixed. So just, before you're all worried and, you know, whatever. If you are not entertaining, nor good at the video game, you need to be able to provide some sort of reason people want to come to your stream or some value to the stream because they're just not gonna watch you. I'm sorry, I, I don't wanna like hurt your feelings, but if you're not entertaining and you're not good at the game, I, I good luck, I guess. Luckily, like I said before, these things can be worked on. Rewatch your VODs, make sure you're always talking, make sure, you know, you, I choose the entertainment route. I am not good at video games, nor have I ever said I'm good at video games, I'm okay. I prioritize entertaining because of the fact that I don't want to be good at video games, I guess. Like I do to a certain degree, but and this kind of goes into tip number 10. Treat it as a job. If you're just slouched in your chair, not talking, not doing any of this stuff, not worried about who's coming in, who's coming out, and you're just doing what you would do off camera, it's not gonna work. Treat it as a job. You are an entertainer. You are a content creator. So make some content, start entertaining people. Now, some of the high-end people, like let's say, you know, Shroud or something, they are very good at the game. Most games they play, so they don't have to be as eccentric, as, you know, entertaining as someone else would. Like Tim, this is actually a good example that I just thought of 
Tim is not that good. If you've ever watched him in a party with all the other, you know, shooter players, he's just always hilarious and he's super entertaining. Out of all of them, he's my favorite to watch if I want to watch a shooter because of the fact that he's a dad that's not really he's okay don't get me wrong he's good at the games because after a certain amount of time obviously right but his focus is more on being a live streamer entertaining people making sure their chat is having a good time and actually i just thought of a tip 11 we're gonna make it 11 tips find a niche honestly niching down more niching niching i say niche i don't know what you call it niching down more is better if you think you've gone too far i'm telling you you're you're fine if you just choose video games as a whole, you have millions of people to compete with. Millions. I don't care how good your guides are, it's gonna be very hard to find you. So find a niche, find a small community that you can build in and create content for, and I'm telling you, you will grow so fast. But those are my 10 tips, well, I guess 11, for how I got to monetize in, I think it was three and a half weeks, three weeks? It blew by so fast. If you guys like today's video and you actually want to see more of this kind of stuff, I can definitely go into, you know, where to get overlays, how to do your own overlays, how to use Stream Elements, Stream Labs, OBS. There's so many things that being a content creator involves. I've done every job. I've I streamed on Twitch for three years, obviously off and on, but I've spent hours and hours and hours, countless of hours off stream figuring out every single thing, researching literally everything. At this point, I'm a graphics designer, I'm a <laughs> photo editor, I'm a video editor, I'm an expert, you know, this, this. There's so many things that entail into being a content creator, a filmmaker, etc. You get what I'm saying. So if you guys really enjoy this content, please let me know in the comments what you wanna see, what specifically. Do you guys need help with your mics? Do you need help with your camera settings? Do you need tips and tricks for this and that? But please, uh, drop a like if you haven't already. I see that most of you guys aren't sub, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.